If you picture a handsaw in your mind, this is probably what it looks like. They come in two basic varieties, cross-cut to cut across the grain and rip to cut with the grain. You can also find models made to do both. The difference is in the shape of the teeth, but it's easier just to read the label. A good cross-cut saw has eight to 10 teeth per inch. Back saws are reinforced along the blade and have fine teeth to cut joints and miter trim. This is not a hacksaw, it's a coping saw. The thin blade can be rotated to cut intricate shapes. This is a hacksaw. The blade can be replaced and is held in place by the steel frame. Use this saw to cut metal pipe and tubing. Keyhole and compass saws have a long pointed blade with fine teeth. Making a tight radius cut is easier with these. Drywall saws are similar, but they have larger teeth that cut through drywall or backer board quickly. You may not need to own much more than a handsaw and a hacksaw, but it's good to know what you're looking for if you have to borrow one from a neighbor.